Okay, so I've got this Vax here. It's the Air Stretch. Um, what's the model number? U85 ASPE. Uh, it's only about six months old. Uh, I got it off my dad. He's uh, looking to sell it as he wasn't, and that, I wasn't that keen on it. Uh, mainly for maneuverability, it's not very good because it just goes in a straight line. Uh, so the machine he's bought now is uh, the Shark. It's the same model as mine, which is this one. Um, in case you're interested, it's the NZ690 UK he's bought, which is exactly the same as this model here. I bought it round and demonstrated it and he was impressed with it, so I ordered one for himself. At the time making this video, which is August 2023, it's £179.99 £179 on Amazon. Uh, so anyway, back to the Vax. Um, so I'll go demonstrate it, but I've actually already vacuumed today. The machine I use is the DC40. There's a couple of scrap DC40 parts and kinetic parts there. Uh, so far it's all working fine with Dyson. So obviously there's no point in vacuuming with the vax because I've already vacuumed, so I made a mess on the floor. Um, there's a tiny bit of dirt in the V15 from doing the floors downstairs and whatever I picked up in the DC4 earlier. The house was fairly clean really, so it wasn't really much of a test, but we'll vacuum it up with the vax and just demonstrate it working. Uh, there's one or two bits of dirt that's been accumulated on the floor, but I don't want to share the box, it's got a, a new dress on it, so um, it's best to hide it. So as you can see, that's all working really well. It's actually quite a nice vacuum cleaner to use. Uh, lovely long cable on it, it's got the hose and obviously it's got the extension hose with the stretch model. Um, you can clap the handle down for easy storage. It's only got the combination tools rather than wear with it. Uh, I think it's got a three meter hose on it, according to the box. And if, um, how long is the cable on it? Um, let's see if it says on the box. Um, it doesn't say how long the cable is, but it's a 17 meters of reach in total, which is very good. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good vacuum cleaner for someone. It needs a bit of a clean, cyclone's a bit clogged up, but um, I'm going to give it a clean, make it look like new, get it boxed up after photographing it and it'll be ready for the next owner. Hopefully it'll get a good price, being fairly new. And hopefully the shark will do my dad proud as well. I personally really like the shark, I think it's a very good vacuum cleaner. He has uh, some fairly thick pile carpets and the sharks did really well, even on maximum. So um, what we're going to do now is going to sort of have a little look around the vax and there will be an after video to follow. Uh, it still smells like a new vacuum cleaner, which is nice as well. So it really will be uh, like a new vacuum cleaner, just a bit of a wipe over and clean the bin out. I will put a clean filter in it as well.
Uh, it's brush bar housing, that's just a bit of dirt on the outside, so it came up nicely. Let's use my sock. Yeah, and it's got these reach there for deep pile carpet and low pile carpet and hard floor. Uh, it's got a green light, that'll go red if it gets clogged up and the brush bar will stop. So let's start with the HEPA filter. I did have a VAX on my channel a couple of months ago and it was uh, it had a, a, a faulty motor on it, unfortunately. Uh, the HEPA filter is still fairly clean to be fair. Uh, you can't really clean them unfortunately. Which is a bit of a shame, but I'm not sure the I'm not sure the filter is clean on it and before I sell it. I think I've got a spare filter kit for it still as well, so I can clean that with the vacuum cleaner. It's a bit of a two-handed job unfortunately, but there we go. Okay, so the filter's not too bad on it. Uh, it's still looks fairly new as well. So I'll give that a clean. I'll give it a I'll link with the spare filter kit in it. Uh, kit in it. Uh, give it a bin of clean out, which still looks fairly fresh. Give that a vacuum off with Henry. And then uh, vax will be good to go. I will make a quick video just demonstrating it afterwards just to prove it's all good. Uh, what I'll do is I'll probably do the same thing as I've done now is I'll demonstrate it on a cleaner carpet rather than um, make it dirty again. But I will, um, I think what I'll do, I'll, I'll make a, I'll leave, I'll leave that vacuuming for a couple of days, make a video of it working fully. And then I'll uh, make a, a final video of it demonstrating after it's all clean. And then yeah, I can see that I've uh, had one of the new style of air stretches on my channel then. And if I can, I'll sort of, Get it on its back. Let's see what the brush bar is like on it. So there's no hair wrapped around it. Nice stiff bristles on it. It's a very clean vacuum cleaner, this. I don't know why the comfort tool is there. That's, I don't think that hose doesn't even look like it's been used. So that's good to see, good to see as well on the vacuum cleaner. Um, I've had the uh, older style of these, and they are very good machines. To be fair, the only reason I sold mine is I didn't even use it that often. But I do think this is a good vacuum cleaner. I think it will do someone very well. Um, they used to have a six-year guarantee, I believe, but it's only, this one's only got a one-year guarantee, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, that's a bit of a shame because uh, it's more appealing with a longer guarantee. Like Shark, for example, still has a um, five-year guarantee. And the Dysons do as well, apart from the cordless machines. Uh, excuse the mess in, the, in my bedroom, still be sorting that out. So, uh, yeah, just to show it's got the original box as well. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.